Well, here we are coming to the end of yet another college football season where Alabama just ain't quite good enough to get the job done. Um, you know, missed the playoffs last year, didn't win their division, didn't win the SEC. Did, Alabama wasn't even good enough to lose to Georgia last year. Could he make the conference championship game? And then here we go again this year. They're just not very good. Not a very good team. Their quarterback is absolutely terrible. They've got no real running game to speak of. Mildews, their leading rusher, and he's got 400 and something yards. I'm so sick of Alabama. They act like this guy's Michael Vick or Lamar Jackson or something. Mildews got 400 yards rushing for the year. 2,500 yards passing. Fucking Jake Fromm had more yards passing than that six years ago before Georgia ever discovered the forward pass. He's just not any good, and Alabama is just slowly becoming an irrelevant deadbeat program. But don't worry, there are plenty of Alabama fans still all over the internet to remind us all about how good they used to be. That's right. Just like when you were a little kid and you'd sit up on your great-granddaddy's lap and he would talk to you about the amazements of black and white TV and ham radios. That's Alabama fans today when they talk about how good they used to be. Yeah, you used to be good. And you people will remember that forever, how good you were from point A to point B. But point B is in the past. Those days are over. The days of Alabama beating people by getting off the bus or just rolling a helmet out on the field, those days are over. Nobody's afraid of Alabama. How many times am I going to have to read that comment? Georgia scared of Bama. Lou scared of Bama. What the fuck? Let me explain something to you, Bama fans. Now, you've never been in this position, but I can guarantee you if you were, you'd feel the same way I feel. What is that position? Georgia has won 29 games straight. Okay? You've never done that. So you don't understand. I, and I get it. So I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt here. But I'm going to guarantee you something. If Alabama, in its 100 plus year history, had ever been good enough to win 29 games in a row, which they haven't, but if they had ever won 29 games in a row, I promise you, as a fan, there's not a team on earth that at that point in time you would have been scared of. I, I, you're just going to have to take my word for it because, like I said, as a Bama fan, you don't know what it's like to win 29 games in a row. You don't know the feeling. You don't know the confidence, the bravado that comes with a 29-game winning streak. You don't understand it. And we can add that to the infinitely long list of things that you fucking dummies don't understand when it comes to football in general. The dumbest fan base on the planet, year in, year out. I, I wish I could screenshot just the dumb shit that Alabama fans say over the course of a year because there's no way I can memorize or remember it all. But just in the last week or so, <coughs> Got Bama fans swearing up and down Mildews winning the Heisman. No. Just in the last week or so, had a Bama fan tell me, Texas is overrated. They haven't beaten anybody. A Bama fan claiming Texas hasn't beaten anybody. You know what? I agree. I agree with you there. Um, Alabama's losing this game. They're, Georgia's a better team. Georgia's better offensively. Georgia's better defensively. Right now, Georgia's a better coached team. Look, I've said this before. Nick Saban's the greatest college football coach of all time. That's my opinion, period. Okay? I think Nick Saban's the greatest college football coach of all time. Being the greatest coach of all time does not make you the best coach in football today. I've used this example before. I'll use it again. Okay? Michael Jordan, in his last couple of years in the NBA, was not the best player in basketball. <laughs> okay? He wasn't the greatest of all time, but in his last couple of years, he wasn't the greatest player. 
in the league. He wasn't. Tom Brady. Some people say he's the best quarterback in the history of the NFL. I don't care one way or the other whether he is or isn't. That's not the point. The point is, let's say he is the greatest quarterback in the history of the league. He wasn't the best quarterback in the league his last year in the league, or his last couple of years in the league. Saban's the greatest college football coach of all time. He's not the best coach in football today. And on top of that, it's not just about the head coaches, it's about the staff. You know this, Alabama fans, because last year, when you weren't anywhere near good enough to even get on the same field with Georgia, you weren't even good enough to earn the right to get your ass beat by me and the Georgia Bulldogs last year. And why was that, Bama man? Well, according to you, it was because of your coaching staff, particularly your coordinators. Well, guess what? You brought in a, an offensive coordinator who has no fucking clue what he's doing, a, a Notre Dame throwaway, and you dusted off a literal dinosaur to bring in to run the defense, a throwback to 15 years ago. And guess what? It hasn't worked. Alabama's defense is nowhere near what those Bama defenses used to be 10 years ago. They're not even in the same universe as those defenses. Check the numbers. The stats don't lie. Woo, they sure don't. They sure don't. The stats don't lie. Uh, I can't wait for this game, 4 o'clock today. Uh... The Alabama fans are going to disappear. They do this all. Look, Bama fans, to their credit, they're not used to losing. You know, most Bama fans are, you know, if you're between the ages of whatever, you know, if you're 25, 30 year old Bama fan, how many times have you seen Bama lose in your lifetime? Not very many. So I get it. You're not good at losing. A lot of y'all are going to disappear. But you know, you you know what the difference is between Alabama fans and Colorado fans? The difference between Alabama fans and Colorado fans. Uh, Alabama's bowl eligible. That's the only difference. That's it. It's the only difference. Alabama's bowl eligible and Colorado's not. Um, they're, they're, they're ignorant fans. They're, they're, they, the, the college football IQ is in the toilet. This whole mildew for Heisman deal, um, you know, they, they think Jermaine Burton is some kind of elite level wide receiver. Look, Alabama just doesn't have the players they're used to having. They don't. There's a reason Georgia's favorite in this game. Alabama's been an underdog four times in the last 14 years. They've only been an underdog four times in the last 14 years. All four times they were an underdog to Georgia. Georgia's just better. Now, for they were equal for a while. Georgia is better. They surpassed you. They beat you last time they played. Georgia beat you like, oh, my God, Kirby Smart's one in a million against Nick Saban, and Georgia's one in 11 million since... Saban got hired and all that. Let me, look, do you think the past matters? I don't think the past matters. Do you? I don't. We're, our record in certain stadium is, look, are you an Ohio State fan now? I don't give a fuck where the game is played. We can play the game on the moon. Win or lose, I'm not going to say anything about where the game was played. I don't give a fuck. Y'all running around with a bunch of what your record is at a certain stadium. It, this shit don't make no sense. The past doesn't matter, okay? And if the past did matter, the recent past would matter more than the distant past, okay? I don't think it matters that Georgia beat you the last time we played. I don't think that has anything to do with this game. So why do you think that what happened in 2017 or 2018 or whatever, why do you think that matters? None of the players who were on that team are on this one. None of them. Do you really think that you're going to be able to do something against Georgia with fucking Jalen Mildew that you couldn't do with Bryce Young? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. You're running around. Look, you had a better quarterback than Georgia and lost in the national title game. You don't have a better quarterback now. Carson Beck is better than Jalen Mildew. You, if you add up Jalen Mildew's rushing yards and passing yards to, combined, Carson Beck's got more passing yards then Mildew does total yards combined. And Carson Beck doesn't run around like Mildew does, but he's got almost 200 yards rushing. You add the rushing yards to Carson Beck, this shit's not even close. Carson Beck's a 4,000-yard guy. Mildew can barely throw for 2,500 yards. Forget intermediate passes. It's Deacon Dunk and 80-yard bombs. Deacon Dunk, 
80-yard bombs. And, and another thing, and I know he's a first-year starter, so you expect certain mistakes or certain things to happen. I've been watching football for 45 years, okay? Almost, 40 years. Uh, I Jalen Mildew. I have seen Jalen Mildew run past the line of scrimmage and throw the ball more times this season than I've seen any other person do it combined in history. Like, he's done it four or five times. I haven't seen it four or five times in my lifetime outside of Jalen Mildew. He's done it more than everybody else I've ever seen combined. Run past the line of scrimmage, throw it. I, I don't understand. He did it. How many times did he do it last week versus Auburn? What is he doing? He doesn't know where the line of scrimmage is. And he's not all there. Okay? No, he's not all there. Jace McClellan's not playing in this game. Do y'all want to just forfeit? Or do you want to wait till after the game and do the whole, well, we had somebody that was injured, woo, like you did last time. Is that what you're going to do? So Jace McClellan didn't play. Jace McClellan, fuck Jace McClellan. There's a hundred Jace McClellans in college football, first of all. The guy's not any good. You can, you, you can randomly pick any Power 5 team in the country. I could close my eyes and randomly pick one of these helmets. Whatever team I pick, they've got two Jace McClellans. I don't want to hear nothing about no goddamn Jace McClellan. You know what you're stuck with? Here's what you're, you know what you're stuck with without Jace McClellan? Oh, binky fucking Williams. Binky fucking Williams. Good luck. Good luck. Freshman left tackle. Wide receivers that can't catch the fucking ball. Jermaine Burton is your best option at wide receiver. We threw his ass away two years ago. He ain't done shit for you. Why do you think he left Georgia? He couldn't get on the goddamn field. Goes to Alabama. He's the best you got. Holy shit. What happened to this defense that was supposed to be uh, uh, the, the best defense in the country this year? Boy, that didn't pan out, did it? No, it didn't. What do you rank, like 16, 17, something like that, total defense or, or, or points allowed? You, you're not you, – well, I, I can't find you in the top ten of any defensive category. I can't. Look. We were sold a bill of goods about Alabama all offseason. Murder ball. No. Best offensive line in football. Not even close. Best defense Alabama's had in a decade. A goddamn lie from the pit of hell. That's what that was. You're garbage. Texas humiliated you at home. I see Alabama fans today running around wanting to clown Oregon. Oh, they're so overrated. We knew it. We were like, how are they overrated? Oregon was ranked fifth. They lost to the team that was ranked third. By three points. How's that overrated? Seems to me they're rated exactly where they should be. Dummy. Oregon lost two games to the same team. That team is undefeated and ranked in the top three, Washington. So, yeah, Oregon's got two losses, both to a top three team, both losses for Oregon away from home. Those losses by a combined six points. Three points each they lost those games. Oregon's got two losses away from home to a top three team by a combined six points. Alabama's got one loss at home to a top six team by double fucking digits. That's overrated. That's overrated, Gump. And speaking of Gump, that shit is not fucking real. I don't know. When are y'all going to get it through your head? Forrest Gump is a made-up movie. Some idiot wrote some dried up fucking 900 page waste of fucking time book. Nobody read it. They turned it into a fucking movie. And Alabama fans have been going nuts ever since. It's not a true fucking story, you idiots. Y'all think it's a documentary. What is wrong with you? I'm dead set. What is wrong? Forrest Gump is made up. It's not real. He didn't really exist. He's not a real person. That's not a documentary. It's a made-up movie. And it's not a good one. <sighs> Mighty. <sighs> Nick Saban's done bought his retirement home down in Florida. He's buying and selling car dealerships <coughs> all over the place. 
This man is mapping out his retirement strategy. And you want to know who his financial advisor is uh, for his retirement? Kirby. Kirby's got him all set up. Kirby's got him all set up. He's going to set little Nicky up on a fucking show pony or some shit. Tap that pony on the ass. And off Saban is going to go into the Jupiter, Florida sunset. Georgia killed Bear Bryant. I've told y'all this before. Georgia won the SEC in 1980, 1981, and 1982. Three years in a row, Georgia won the SEC. After they won it the third time in a row in 1982, Bear Bryant waved the white flag. No moss, he said. I quit. I can't compete. Bear Bryant coached at Alabama through the end of the 1982 season. He watched Georgia win back to back two back SEC titles, and he said, I, I, I can't compete with this. I'm done. He quit in December. In January, he was dead, which is sad. I don't want anybody to die. But, you know, the facts are what they are. Georgia killed Bear Bryant. Now here we are, 40 some odd years later, Georgia's coming off back-to-back -back national titles, won 29 games in a row, beat Bama for one of those national titles, beat Bama the last time we played, won 44 of their last 45 games. Bama can't win their conference. Can't get in the playoffs. Poor Nick Saban. He had a good run. He had a good run. Who y'all going to beat up on in a New Year's Six Bowl this year? Let's see. Who's the second best team in the Big 12 from Oklahoma State this year? Oh, man. It, it, same thing's going to happen to happen last year. You know, Bama's not make, Bama's going to lose today. They're not going to make the playoffs. And then what are they going to do? They're going to, Bama fans are going to spend the entire month of December all over the internet typing to anybody that'll read it how they could beat all these teams that are in the playoff. Yo, if we played this team, we'd beat them. Oh, I bet we'd beat Washington. Oh, Texas got in. If we got a rematch for them, we'd beat Florida State got in. Oh, Bama would kill Florida State. Bama would beat every team they don't play, according to the fans. According to Bama fans, they'd beat every team they don't play. It's unbelievable. Alabama's undefeated against teams they, never, they don't play, aren't they, Bama man? Huh? Bama's undefeated against teams they don't play. But that's not the problem. The problem is... The teams you do play, you can't beat Texas at home. You can't beat Georgia anywhere. Uh, you lost LSU and Tennessee last year, kept you out. I mean, you're just not good enough. You're just not good enough. Saban's voting against a nine-game SEC schedule. Why? Why? This is the same Saban that's been running around forever going, I think we should play 12 Power 5 games. But when given the opportunity to go from eight SEC games to nine SEC games, Saban voted no. Why? Why? Scared. That's why. There's no other reason. There's no other reason to vote no on a nine-game SEC schedule. He's scared. He's scared. Thank God the playoffs are going to 12 games. You know, maybe Bam will be able to sneak back in once they expand this thing to 12 games next year. 
But it's not going to happen this year. Georgia's going to line up and beat the fuck out of you today. They're going to beat the soul out of you. They're going to beat the will to live out of you. They're going to donkey stomp you. And then they're going to gorilla drag your dead carcass up and down that fucking field for four quarters. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. I've been beating the Alabama fan for two years straight. Two years straight. Day in, day out. Uncle Lou has been knocking them down. Bama fans are like my crash test dummies. How bad have I owned y'all in the last two years? I wrote y'all off on my taxes. Thank you for that. Yeah. I had an addendum at the end of my tax uh, returns I sent in last April. Said, hey, by the way, I'm writing off this amount of money because I fucking own every goddamn gump fan on the internet. I asked my uh, accountant, I said, how much can I write off for this? He said, the write-off on this is per word. I said, we mean per word. He said, yeah, per word that they type. It's a certain amount you can write off per word. I said, well, holy shit, I'll never have to pay taxes again. I'll never have to pay taxes again. Because as dumb as the fucking Alabama man is, and he is a fucking moron. He is a fucking moron. He can sure work one of these goddamn things, can he? He can work a fucking keyboard. Type for me. Type for me, lady. Type, type, type! And then type some more. That's, a, yeah, that, that's what you are to me. A fucking tax write-off. That's it. How bad will Georgia win this game? Two scores. What does that mean? Well, sad I have to explain it to you. Nine points to 16 points is two scores. That's two scores. Uh, you can't score nine points in one score, okay? And you can't score 17 points in two scores. Between, so two scores would be nine to 16. So I, have, I had to break that down for you because, again, you're a bunch of idiot fucking gump fans who know little to nothing about anything at all, uh, but football in particular. But, you know, it is what it is. Mill Duke can fucking belly crawl his ass east uh, to Atlanta and get it rammed in by Georgia today, which is what's going to happen. Uh, and I, for one, am looking forward to it. Um, rest in peace to my buddy Bear Bryant and uh, Nick Saban. Have fun at Shady Grove.